It's a, a story about a father and, and daughter relationship. He's um, in a care home and she's visiting during set now, present time, COVID. And simply it's a father-daughter relationship. They're very um, playful. Judith and I are old colleagues, you know, well, I'm old, she's, <laughs> she's my youthful colleague. And um, she said to me, I don't know whether it was before Christmas, she, she said on the phone, why don't you ask Frank McGuinness to write a play for us two? I said, yeah, 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 yeah. And then she phoned me again, said, have you done that yet? I said, what? Have you asked Frank McGuinness to write a play? I'll do it now, I said. Eventually I did do it. And Frank said, well, I'm actually working on something that I think would be really great for you two. And then the next thing, he had a play and he sent it to us and it's an absolutely beautiful play. Um, it's incredible. It, it, it's beautiful. It's Frank at his best. I think he writes like rock and roll, you know, mm. doesn't he? I mean, to me he does. Um, you, he, he can start a sentence and he could end up going anywhere. The language <laughs> feels really familiar and it's always the language you go back to, you know, when you're when you're working with the script, that's that's your roadmap, and um, it's a little turns of phrases, and um, there's things that alert particular landscapes and in yourself and how you speak and the musicality, and so when there's a a familiarity, it's it's um, quite invigorating. The first um, time I worked with Frank was uh, my first time in the. In the Abbey, actually, I did the Wild Duck. He did a version of it was his adaptation, and it was just so special for me at many levels. And Frank was very present, very generous to us. And as a very young actor, I think I was 22 or something at the time. You retain that; those things don't escape you, you know. So, uh, funny enough, I did this play, and um, well, we did it in London, and then. New York. Uh, it was about um, people who were hostages in Beirut. You know, Brian Keenan really based on. Um, and um, it, it has a similarity in some way to this, and that people are trapped in a situation mm -hmm. where it's it's not normal, and they're and they're working through normal things or trying to find a normality. Mm. So that's, I find that, uh, he does that so brilliantly. He's there, he's in it, yeah. you know, and, um, and and that was a very happy occasion for me doing the, the one in, in New York, someone who'll watch over me, and uh, this is equally happy, you yeah. know, I, I just delighted with it. It's, and he's a wonderful man, so mm. it, it's just a total unexpected pleasure to be doing this. Mm.